Hi everybody, what's up? Hope you are doing well. So today we are going to see how we can deploy Django application with Gunicon and Nginx on Ubuntu server. So I'm already logged in on my server with root. So let me show you. This is my server detail. Ubuntu 22.04.2 LTS. So let's start. So let's go to var www and inside this i have created one folder test so you can see it's empty so i'm going to first of all i'm going to create virtual environment here for our project so let's create python is already installed here python 3 module vnv and vnv virtual environments name this is the name of the virtual environment and this is the python module's name so, hit enter yes virtual environment created if you found any error here so uh, you can install python 3 hyphen v e n v so let's activate the environment so let's install django pip install django and we need to install gunicon as well so gunicon pip install gunicon yeah here we have list django and gunicon so let's create the django project django admin sorry for it django admin start project and project name project name will be core so i'm going to hit enter and let's see core and vnv let's go inside core cd core and see here we have project folder and manage.py so let me show you inside core ls core so you can see we have asgi settings urls and wsgi so here we have these things let me run the server and let's see is it working python manage.py run server yes it's working perfectly fine control c and let's make migration and migrate so python 3 manage.py make migrations no changes detected migrate yes successfully migrated and now we have to do some changes on our setting files so don't forget to put sudo nano because i'm already a root user so i won't require to put sudo so so let's edit nano core and settings.py so let's change something here like first of all i have to add a lot of host here like which host you want to allow so this is this is my default page from my hosting provider so i'm putting this here because i'm going to run on this subdomain backend.biomit.com so one more thing to do let's do that static static root static root will be base directory and static yeah that's it so control x y and hit enter yeah, changes are saved so let's test server once again is it working perfect it's working if you want you can run django command create super user and collect static as well uh, so let's proceed further by creating system empty socket and service file for gunicon uh let me create that 
nano don't forget to use sudo etc system md and system gunicon dot socket yeah let me describe this unit section is to describe the socket and socket section is uh, tell us the location of socket and install section to make sure that the socket is created at right time let's save it control x and y and enter that's it let's check the current user who am i this is your root user so username is root we will use it later on so let's create another service file for gonicon on the same location so i'm going to use gonicon dot service vice service in same location like uh, you have to use sudo nano etc system md system gonicon dot service uh, let's ch uh, change here something like user was root so root and group page www w hyphen data and working directory is we need to change it it is a sorry it's var www test and core inside core yeah let's copy it so that we can use it again so here we need to change this as well and here same and core inside core uh, no inside test we have venv and inside venv bin and gonicon and everything is all right and let's change the name of the project uh, my project name is core so if you are ch changing any name to your project so you can uh, change here as well like uh, if you want to uh, change the pro name of the project then you can use it here instead of root directory so everything is fine so let's save it control x y and j and let me show you directory structure here like v and v is here you can see inside test and the other files are inside core cd core ll and in the application part you have to mention this file name not this one let's clear the console and now we need to start the socket so use sudo system control start gonicon dot socket oh it may be error here system 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 control start gonicon socket okay we need to run this because i already tested many times so i need to reload the daemon so if it's successfully done so you have to when you uh, you have to do this when you do the, this then it will work fine so another command is system control enable gonicon socket so let's start to enable enable which is already enabled so let's see the status of gonicon status gonicon yeah it is running perfectly fine let me clear the console and till now uh, we configured gonicon so now we will configure nginx so let's go to the etc 
and nginx inside that site available so uh, let's create one file uh, you can use uh, any file name here like i'm go i'm going to use nano don't forget to use sudo nano and django project dot conf let's change it here sorry for that here you have to mention your domain or subdomain whatever you want here backend dot biomed dot com and www dot backend dot biomed dot com mm, so let's change it here as well this is var www test and core A root directory is this and everything else is fine so let's save it control x y and enter so let's link it to site enable directory which is here as you can see cd sites enabled till now this is not available here so let me do that use sudo ln hyphen s etc nginx sites available inside that project django project.config to again etc nginx to sites enabled so now let's see it's linked you can see here let's clear the console and check is it working or not nginx hyphen t the configuration file is okay so let's restart the nginx system control restart nginx it's restarted so let's check the status status it's running so if you are facing facing any error or something else so you can allow nginx in ufw user firewall so ufw allow nginx full so you can do it with root privilege after the every changes you need to reload the daemon so let's reload it system control d a e m o n hyphen reload yeah daemon is reloaded and let's restart the gunicon s y s t e m system control restart gunicon yeah gunicon is also restarted let me check the status again status my bad that's it it's working so let me check remove this and hit enter it's not working sometime it will not work so you need to run it on a private window because browser can cache awesome it's running so let me show you admin as well awesome uh, the css file is not loaded uh, that's why it's looking like this so we can fix it later on don't worry about it so let's fix this q and let's go to var www test and here cd core and let's see okay let's do python 3 manage dot py collect static 
yeah you can see 125 125 static files copied to this location so let's see is it true yes we have ls static yeah we have that so let's run it again let's see is it work or not admin awesome it's worked bazinga so for now it's for now that's it so let's connect another time if you have any questions then you can comment on comment section uh, thank you so much see you bye bye